What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And to pick up where we left off, we are still pushing through the Middle East and Theodore, after many, many, many turns of rest, refit and moving up, he is back into battle once again against the Persian Empire. So, let's bring his forces to bear and destroy the enemy. So we've made a lot of progress in the Middle East. We've taken uh, uh, Astrakhan, no, no, not Astrakhan, Azerbaijan. I think it's Azerbaijan. And that has caused the Dagestani hordes to be unleashed towards us. So we need, all we need to do is just keep up the pressure, keep pushing, and soon the uh, the Ottomans will break. So, put our howitzers behind the line. So let's keep our... Let's just see what the enemy is going to do first. Because this is an army I've had for a long time. And it's fought its way across America. It's fought its way through India. And now it's going to fight its way... Ooh, or the train's a bit bad for artillery there. So I'm going to put this horse artillery... Up on the rise behind behind my troops. So we're gonna, we're gonna weigh ourselves. We're gonna bias ourselves more towards the right flank. Skirmishes on the left. Native warriors behind the skirmishes. Light cavalry on the left. Heavy on the right. Theodore with a heavy cavalry contingent. And looking at the map, it looks like our right flank is the flank that we can actually push with. My howitzer is unable to first because I didn't unlimber them. Did good damage there, 12 pounders right off the bat. So my horse artillery here. The Feline Musketeers are right out on the flank. So these men deploy square. You guys run. Charge them with my skirmishes or charge my charge them with my um, native warrior auxiliary so the felling over here are largely on their own so these gunners can limber up all well, these guns can limber up we should say the gunners are people. Let's take two units and continue this line. Like this, you guys continue further out. Come on. at them. Hack at them with your axes. Because here come their enemy, the enemy cavalry. Not the enemy cavalry, the enemy, the enemy infantry. How it's as fire. Quick climb. Focus on that unit of Kizilbashi. So I've limbered up my artillery to be more like that. To position more like that. <laughs> guys managed to rout probably due to a bit of our own uh, artillery fire pity let's charge our cavalry into the levee smash them in and elsewhere across the line 
push our grenadiers up onto the around the flank. Let's get our cavalry further up. The skirmishes are now in dodgy territory. Leave them to it. Most of these levy aren't well, so I'm not worried about these levy. If they want to charge my line, they can charge my line. My infantry is more than capable of chasing them away. So my skirmishes are a bit stuck. Right, now you guys are limber. So these camel nomads are going to join the fray against this unit, so drop them into square. Let's pivot these units back. Rogers Rangers are going to have to do without me. There we go, bring my heavy cavalry to bear. Well, this goes both into square because of the cavalry threat. Hey, my skirmishers are actually fighting them up. Good guy, Rogers Rangers. So let's pivot you guys back around. Well, not Rogers Rangers, Cura de Bois. Ooh, lots of artillery is smashing into that friendly formation. Good stuff. Get you fellas out of square formation. Let's solidify this flank. So you get back here to help out the light cavalry. And you keep picking them off. You men advance. I don't know, keep, stay away from the camel nomads because my infantry are shooting at them. Okay, then we'll have to charge them. Drop these guys out of square. Let's pivot them around. Get my howitzer to fire at the Kizobashi Musketeer. Run all my remaining troops back to our line, because we can see the Kizilbashi are actually uh, pushing the left. So they do have quite a few units dug in back here. There we go, the 7th have been knocked back. How much does open up on the 5th if it's not too late? Fear it might be. So you five push up against that unit. These men all push up. Actually, no, not those guys stay where they are. These three units can push up into the woods. Because here comes the levy. Poor souls. Get Theodore back to safety because I don't want him getting caught out and killed by some random unit. Let's deploy the cavalry. Retarget my howitzers. Let's get you guys to chase down the Kizilbashi because that's a fantastic target to chase down. Let's 
so let's get... What? Why have those guys come back? That's the that's the most annoying thing. Because you want to say, okay, well, why make them run? Why make them run through my lines and then make them come back if they're just gonna? If there's a chance of them coming back. It's really unfair to make them run through my lines. I don't know why I sent quite so many back. 15th Auto, I'm going to stand to that, stand up to that level of musketry. Yeah, there go the horse artillery. Now these men to be guard mode off, so once they once the levy are dead, we're gonna chase them down. Okay, so these three push against that unit. And these three form up a flank against the entrenched position. Yeah, well, I don't care. Chase him down. So let's get Theodore and my cavalry moving up. Let's get my artillery opening up. My skirmishers skirmishing the seventh. Just have them perpetually chase them down. Let's get my general, my cuirassier, to chase them down. And these guys can also form up against the troops to the rear. See, my native warriors are only tired, and these guys are very tired. So they will chase them down. That's what you get. You guys might be able to kill that regiment. These guys... Actually, let's send my general on to attack the 15th. Retarget my artillery. As the fire by rank pours in at point blank range. Those guys are active. They've not done anything all game, so we're not going to chase them down in any any great hurry. Quick climbs coming in against those Kizilbashi. So let's keep the offensive going. Let's see if we can knock out any units. I mean, that regiment looks like a good contender. As my infantry hammer over the volleys into the Persian contingent. How goes your efforts? Oh dear. Yeah, these guys aren't long for this world. Because that's a whole lot of troops on, in, on, in lots of different directions coming after them. Let's get my general's bodyguard over here as well. Even though these are Israeli, I'd still like them taken care of. So you men chase down that Kizilbashi Musketeer unit. Let's 
Yeah, General, you should waver. Good, I wanted the General to go away, so I could also get my... General involved. Damn right, we're going to continue. Although you guys aren't going to go that far, you're going to go there. And let's speed up time. So let's halt the artillery fire. So you've got 25 musketeers to kill. But again, they will probably escape because how, of how dispersed they all are. These guys will escape because of just how far they've got to go before they reach the edge of the map, which is not very far. Not far to kill 60-odd men. Fire it well off there to make sure we don't get a friendly fire incident. Okay, then you guys can chase down the 11th. And let's maximise the time. Let's just keep on right clicking. Keep on updating that pathfinding logic. And there we go, like the third order here. Done for. So you guys can help this cavalry unit by adding more cavalry to chase down this dispersed unit which should make them less of a pain to chase down my general is going to successfully kill all of his pursuies so now, we, now we can deploy a lot of cavalry to chase down this last Israeli unit look how they're all, they are all intelligently spreading out it's not one unit trying to uh, do everything it's Lots of units trying to do stuff. Although that last misclick didn't help, but I don't think we could kill them. Those only, they had about 10 men left on the field. But still, that was a good victory for our troops. Look at that. So I'm just having a bit of coffee because it's early this morning. Uh, so we are. We've lost 700, 645 men, but we've killed nearly 4,500. Which has blown that army to pieces, and Theodore is Theodore. Theodore, don't give a damn. So Ardabil is up and ready. So this force is sieging Tbilisi, which is a bit risky because the Ottomans are right there. Um, yeah, you're falling back to reinforce. Yes. You're replenishing where you are. I probably want to take one of these armies yes, my lord. one of these armies to push back around into the center here let's bring yes, sir. these two armies up yes, and you hit Marcel Memi on the river let's drive this Ottoman force back because they have only recently taken back Ankara from the rebels so their flow of reinforcements is um, has been interrupted. So now we just need to slowly hammer them back. Slowly hammer them back and force them to uh, take up new positions. Good stuff. So these are these are the those cavalry those artillery units I've deployed together. So this artillery unit can deploy out on the flank. I'm going to deploy two maison de ra maison two guard units on the the right flank and a guard unit infantry on the left. You men can have skirmishes in support, which means you can have the lion's share of the cavalry. There we go, then spread out our howitzers. We 
Can you guys shrapnel shot that Delhi Horseman? You can. Can you guys shrapnel shot that unit of Delhi Horseman? There's a lot of cavalry going around. A couple of kills. The shrapnel shot and quick climb have eviscerated that Delhi Horseman unit. Very well. So they do have hidden units. Let's get our quick climbing howitzers to focus on thinning out some of their cavalry art units. This guy might have to switch to round shot. Or will he? Right, I think in general the the uh, the range is sufficiently long to go back to bombarding as normal. But I might have to sound a general advance. So I'll leave my guns behind so they can push up once we've advanced. Or at least my fuel artillery will my fuel artillery will continue to fire as I push out my howitzers. Someone's someone's ratty little dog outside. Does not like something. So this way I'll at least keep some of my artillery firing all the time. Especially when they're in a, such a big cluster like this. I want my field artillery to focus on their artillery teams. Okay, you can now... Well, you can stand to limber up and advance. The true position I want to be in is here. Which means that these guys on the flank need to be more like this. You guys might actually continue firing from long range. Okay, deploy my guard de corps against the heavy horse, uh, not heavy horse, Zimandari horsemen. They might get a volley off before we make the charge, but we are, we are heavy cavalry. So you're in position, so in limber. As are you. Oh, hush, hush your dog up. That's why I don't like small dogs. Small dogs tend to be more... Well, in my extremely anecdotal experience, small dogs tend to have more of a issue with other people. More so than big dogs. Big dogs might growl and let, and let you know that they're, they're the big dog and they're the badass, but little yappy dogs are just ugh oh, I hate them I really don't like them so you men are limber see I haven't lost a single apart from that original um, salvo from their archers I haven't lost a single horse guardsman You're going to fire shrapnel shot straight at that pikeman. Okay, 
here we go. We've we've provoked them. Now they're coming in. So let's go to how it's firing at targets that aren't knowingly going to attack the uh, attack our line in the same way that pikemen will let's say let's combine my guardsmen to one neat flank position let's charge into the straight into the archers you guys are, engage guys are engaging the janissaries push up our cavalry You're gonna have a great time with those Armenian archers. We've lost one guardsman now. And those these guns are just asking to be chewed up by cavalry fire. Cavalry fire. Force guards charge the general's bodyguard. These janissaries made an admirable attempt to push. Very well, pull my heavy cavalry back. Those Armenian archers have been eviscerated. These men are pouring fire into the 7th. So bring my cuirassier back to the Delhi horsemen because we are aware that they can't withstand the they can't withstand the uh, attacks of the Delhi horsemen because Delhi horsemen are surprisingly potent. See, my guard de corps got charged by the Mamelukes, but my cavalry will win in the ultimate combat. You guys stay out of that little action. Pikemen are on their way in. Deadly horsemen have been killed. You men fire <laughs> into the mass of troops there. Hopefully we can knock out General's bodyguard. Or if even if not, get our East India Company cavalry out of that fight. Charge the pikemen because they're wavering. Yeah, they broke. Charge my general's bodyguard on. All my artillery fire switched to round shot. Complete and utter chaos okay let's get my guard de corps up here there are so many juicy targets to chase down so you chase down the pikemen you chase down that infantry get my general up here bearing in mind that my artillery still wants to engage all these guys let's do that and let's turn all fire at will off inside the pocket because I want my cavalry to go mop them up charge my general in through the line Look at that, there's a Kurdish Hillman unit that wants to come back. Hey, that's where all their Kurdish Hillmen are. So you continue to chase down the Janissaries, you continue to chase them down, you can chase down the Gunners, or some Gunners, wherever they are. Oh no, you actually are 
an artillery team that's running away. Sweet. You men charge those gunners wherever they may be. And you chaps, you're doing all right. Knocking out this Nizam unit. Come on. There we go. It's a bit unnecessary now to do too much chasing about. Some of these guys are after gunners, so I need to make sure not to interfere with their strategy. And there we go. <laughs> and that's another stack destroyed for no, almost no loss as well. Good stuff. And I even can push along the flank. You are going to infiltrate Ankara. Get some visibility on what's on the way. My lord. Can't do it, sir. Impossible. It's weird when the game Can't does do this. It's kind of bugged an army within an, an army within the city. So let's get you guys out of there. They might be stuck as a permanent garrison. Sir. Oh well. Elsewhere, everyone's pushing up. Sir. These guys are pushing up towards Astrakhan. Looks like the Swedes are going to give us a fight for it. And these guys are within spitting distance of Ufa. So let's engage Austin Gunderson outside so we can draw the garrison into combat without... Doesn't look like it actually makes much difference. <laughs> I was about to say, without bringing in, bringing in any mortars or such like... Um, but they aren't bringing in mortars anyway. But still, this is going to be a pretty handy victory, and it's also probably going to start the Swedes um, getting into panic mode. Ooh, the Gurkhas are in the snow. And this is quite a nice terrain, really, to fight on, especially as we know they're going to be down in the mess, although the right flank's probably going to push up. So, two infantry and a Gurkha unit on the right flank. Well, that should make it three infantry, really. Look at that, got American mercenary, American infantry mercenary and Gurkhas in one army. Good stuff. And Indian mercenaries. Okay. So these guns can trundle up to this hill here. This infantry can push up. Like so. If these horse guard want to interfere, they are more than welcome to. Oh, I didn't I didn't position my one artillery my one howitzer unit. Let's advance with this infantry as well, because you can tell they want, they really want to fight. Hit by quick climb and musket fire. These guys might actually stay a bit more straight because we know we've got some chaps looking to try and get around the flank. These men are going to charge, charge into our lines with this regiment of force. We're going to open up. Let's preemptively get this unit into square and pull our cavalry back in a bit more of a defensive position. Let's 
shrapnel shot. Excellent shots there. Oh, well, they are going to make it through that gap into my cavalry. Fair. Oh, okay, and they routed. it. Good. Let's get my Gurkhas up here on the right to help attack the 5th Regiment. Come on, like Iron Firelings, you guys can't help but be drawn towards the infantry. Gurkhas charge the fifth. Okay, my light cavalry counter charge. So imagine they share a Swede fighting in Russia, but suddenly here's a load of Gurkhas on the way. Yeah, we've lost 20 men, but they're we are running! There we go. Keep. Oh, is that an impossible? You go stay in square, you fools. There we go, enough to shatter them, but then keep coming back to fight. Bring in my guard to core. Although it looks like... I mean, yeah, they're bringing in their cavalry, but I don't think it's going to help in the long term. Let's make sure artillery is not shooting at bad targets. I'm pretty sure my Gurkhas can handle this. Okay, the cavalry has been shattered. You guys might be attempting, the cu these cuirassiers might be attempting to intercept my... Oh no, they're going in to help the general. You guys switch to round shot, bombard nearby targets. I literally told you guys to switch fire round shot at other people. I watched that quick climb come in and destroy my own cavalry. And they're going, I'm sure I gave you different orders, I'm sure. Okay, let's deploy my cavalry to pursue. Halt my artillery. These guys to charge the Grenadiers on two fronts. So you men. Militia, militia, militia. Militia. Lots of militia. Continue to chase the militia. I mean, we'll have some Grenadiers here soon. And they say they're... They're happy because they're winning slightly, but uh, not for long. Let's speed up time. You guys are knocking out guerrilla mercenaries. Yeah, so it was just this grenadier unit that was that was causing the battle to continue. Can you guys? Come back to knock out the knock out the grenadiers because these guys are busy trying to actually kill the uh, these militia units. Although well, you are my heavy cavalry, so not really quite the um, the army or the unit to spend to send it charging around the map all the time because they are pretty slow when when they get tired. Still, should do some good damage to them. And now all our other cavalry is being brought to bear. Yes. 
get him. That's right. So our first, our first territory has been captured in the Russian rear area from fighting the Swedes. So Matthias, you replenish, demand the surrender of the city. Surrender accepted. So Ufa is ours, and we've got some visibility on what else is here. So there's a couple of they've got some troops wandering around here. Let's build this into a church school. Upgrade the farms, repair the governor's barracks. Don't bother building fortifications because it's not needed. We have reinforcements coming up. So you might be fighting a bit of a defensive action against two stacks, but then again, it's mostly lower quality units. Your Majesty. You're ready to hit the Dagestanian forces. You're still sieging Georgia. You're replenishing and you can't leave Ardabil. Actually, you can leave Ardabil. Yes, In which case, then, you're going to push up to the border near Yerevan. So we don't need to hold the territory to keep them happy. So we're knocking down one pleasure garden. We're going to re fix the Pasha's palace. Because I want to build a church school here to spread the light of Christianity. So we do also have you now. Remy Bousset and the Sloop Defiance. We do have an Iron Master's works that can be upgraded there. Disembark the army. Put Remy Bousset coming up the centre. Let's get a sloop back here because we do still have we do still have Gurkhas that are capable of being deployed into an army. Let's just move the cuirassier out. Recruiter general Tristan Aiton. Aiton. You can have a Gurkha. These militia units. I'm not so sure when they're going to be used. Yes. Ready and waiting for. So Tristan needs to recruit a light cavalry unit, some good artillery, some good howitzers, because we are chasing down. We are chasing down um, the Ottomans now. Obviously, got loads and loads of of ships. Well, Andre de Constantine, you guys. Okay, we've got a force over at Bengal, so let's get even more ships over to the front. Over to Europe. Let's upgrade the Jesuit College here as a heathen. We've got a fleet here, that's okay. Let's upgrade the Iron Master's works. And as a heathen, you guys are a you were a garrison, weren't you? You were indeed your religious orders. Cause it's slowly going down. So let's get rid of this militia. So you're pushing up to this army. Lawrence de Constantine, who got absolutely smashed. But he is going to fall back and take position with a new set of troops. So we have taken Gibraltar and pushed out these two. Spanish armies, Gilbert, yeah, you need you need reinforcements before I want to push on that city, really. You have Olivier Bousset, who is going to march to Cartagena. Cut out, he can get straight there. Let's go to Cartagena, where we can get them aboard ship and deploy him to Tangier. So then this will be the... Uh, the Western Western Europe secured. We've got this army here that's nearly completed. So let's recruit some one more unit of line, and this army can come down and be ready to fight against the Austrians in northern Italy. Good. And then our techs absolutely storming forward. Okay. 
So you were the garrison of, of Spain, of Madrid, but you're no longer needed. So you will actually become another army, Gascon Caron. Like I said, it might take a bit of time for you to reach your full strength. Let's get some Cheval Leger. One, two, three, 12 pounders. Three, 24 pounders. And let's get one unit of Tralier. So that's going to take a while to get here because be stuff's going to be coming down from Paris, but that's okay. Once these have, these forces have been, these areas have been secured, you can take Tangier, take Algier, and start pushing across um, across the the Med. We can take Algier, Cagliari, and Bastia. Good. Let's hit end turn. See, our Swedish troops are still well. Our troops again on in other fronts. They're taking up. They're getting resupplied or advancing. Also, we can push on Gdansk against Sweden. I need to pop that Bavarian pocket. Austrian Rebellion, that's interesting to see. I mean, it's not going to do anything because they've got too many troops nearby. But I think this is the turn we push on the... Uh, on, on the Bavarians. Ready or not. Because the Austrians are not. The Austrians aren't uh, letting us get away with it. They're still preparing to make a fight of it, but if we open up the Northern Italian front, then they're going to be a lot less. Uh, they're going to have more things to worry about than just Central Europe. Spain's deposited some. <laughs> Spain's deposited some troops. These forces are. I mean, to be honest, Spain's on the ropes. I don't. I don't. I'm not bothered about attacking their navy, because we have all the recruitment capacity we need. With our own shipyards, and Spain's about to be destroyed anyway. So I don't. There's no. There is no major need to go hit their. Uh, their navies. Especially as these gentlemen of Spain are going up to our schools to try and steal our technology. But like I said, Spain is soon to be no more. So they can steal to their heart's content. Although I need to destroy that seminary in Madrid because it's not... Well, it's surplus to requirements. Sending more troops north. Okay, they're actually pulling back from their little easterly pocket. <laughs> That's right. Send your agents behind enemy lines to stir up discontent. Ooh, we're going to defend against another Swedish attack. Let's do it, you fools. You fools! Especially if I've got my breach. They can't solely focus on the breach because they do have um, their own organic artillery. Some good artillery this time. They have actual guard, guard artillery units so I can do a certain amount of hunkering down by the breach, but I still need... Oh, and they're actually coming from that way. That's even better. So, men. Actually, first of all, let's... deploy some units up on the walls like they need to be. Because we can't let them... No, there's no point deploying any there. Okay, so we've got infantry guard unit. Okay, th let's assume they might breach this as well. So 
what you really want to see is something like that, and then something like that. You don't want to deploy close to the gate. Like if you do this, I've I've done this, and they just they seem they, it seems to not work, and they just hop over it. So you need to deploy it like further back, like that. They'll never get through that. So let's deploy some artillery in a little a little uh, bunker. Light infantry, deploy some more stakes. Just in the event they demolish this and they make another way in. So between them, all that infantry will probably have this section guarded. Let's just get one unit here in fortified positions and then let's assume they make another breach. So let's drop some units here. So the howitzers can stay deployed in the centre. All the cavalry just get back out of the way. One set of guns that can go anywhere. And I've stolen a lot of infantry back again. So let's get this infantry back away. Actually, no, don't get the chasseur in there. Get, this, get my light infantry to deploy like this. You men cover this little breach. Howitzers fire quick line. I mean, they've attacked it with with three times this number, and it didn't work. So I don't know what quite what they're expecting to do. Okay, so they are making another breach. So this trundle. A gun team over. Let's just blast the breach with canister shot rather than shrapnel shot. Because there's, there might be a problem with the shrapnel shot for this unit. Bursting too early. But they're coming in. Yeah, for now, my. How it says just focus on the units that look like they're going to try and go around the flank. The general's bodyguard. Is the general's bodyguard going to charge? We're focusing on their artillery. Oh, here comes the 18th Regiment. Is that Marines? Ah, oh, they missed. But they didn't. <laughs> Hello, 18th Regiment of Horse. You've got nowhere to go. Even if they make it past this, they won't make it past these. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's gone hidden. Okay, let's get this unit off the wall. These men will be enough to hit the... Gosh, let's give them a bit of guard, in, guard support. General's bodyguard is going to suicide in to try and do damage. Hello. I can't see. There he is. Come on, General, make it to the front. Although there might be a, there might be a bit of a bug here, actually. 
because some they can't retreat. Well, some of the cavalry is having a struggle, having a tough time getting away. Oh, these engineers have been just shot to ribbons by quicklime. And now my infantry is going to have a go. You might think another breach will give you a way in, but you are mistaken. Let's keep the howitzers firing at guys that might be trying to come around the right flank before the breach is ready. Limburn, fire, fire by rank. We'll fire at will off. These guys will then start to take position on the inside of the fire step and fire down into this courtyard of death and destruction. Actually, yeah, that might be a good position for you guys. The gatehouse. In case they try and scale the gate. Which it looks like they might attempt to do. So what's the, AI, the AI's standard procedure, yeah, is even if they throw grappling irons, is to then just go bugger it and charge. Quicklime is doing real damage to them. And I don't think they're gonna I don't think they want to charge. Even though they've attacked, they're going to the AI is going to work out they don't want to attack. Not really. So here comes the first infantry assault, the 54th. And there you go, they've crossed over the barriers. The fire by ranks coming in, they're charging. Yeah, they didn't take kindly to that. And the dam actually blew up, blew open this section of the fort as well. Very well. Now there we go, this section of the gatehouse's fort has been blown in. Here comes the unit of provincial cavalry, so this is why I wanted to have some some cavalry units left over. This is where I wanted to have some infantry units left over so I could... I still have some spikes. Okay. Blast, this, blast the gap with canister shot. These guys still can't cross because of the spikes. And spikes make everything so much better. So look, these guys are going to throw grappling irons. Are they actually going to... Oh, they are. Seemingly. Let's cross over. Might actually get you you actually to hit them with quick line. You guys can wait for them to come across and make it your problem. Let Howitzer do some damage. These men have all formed up on this side of the wall. Prime your muskets. Oh, quick line comes in. There we go. And they've all opened up on the guards. Fusiliers would be my preferred target. I think they're done for. start to do some damage to them although you could probably just do with attacking it dropping it at the foot of the at the foot of the defenses Fire! 
Let's speed up time a bit, because it doesn't look like AI really knows what it wants to do. And this infantry looks like it might... Well, it actually looks like what it's going to do is it's going to try and scale the wall. There we go, we've hit the... So this artillery unit can now focus on those marines. They might, looks like they might try charging through the this new gap. Well, some of them might. They're more than welcome to try. There they are. You men, reload! Although, fortunately, they are taking their time forming up, but the guns are ready at point-blank range. Still fire at them, because why not? damage to these marines. They're now losing decisively. 101st coming in. Yeah, they've been repulsed. 72nd is still holding true. Okay, let's get this howitzer unit back on firing to defend this bastion on the right, but let's speed up time because ultimately these grenadiers on the flank are the only ones that are actually in a position to do anything. So why have we started chugging? Hey, they might actually sent a regiment of foot to attack somewhere unique. Let's get our cavalry outside of the walls. actually put a unit up on the wall to help them out just because melee is tricky get you guys off the wall yeah, this regiment of militia is not going to last very long Trying to kill up the handful of guys that are left on the floor. Knock out the dragoons, but it's time it is time for our cavalry to get into the mix. Because right now we've just got some confident grenadiers. So my line infantry that's winning slightly, but we'll probably start losing in the longer term. Now it's time for the cavalry to deliver the coup de grace. Knock out the general, knock out all their guns. There we go, get my cavalry moving up. These grenadiers actually have swords. Yeah, it says their grenadiers are winning, but... We've just got so many more men to throw at them. Let's get another regiment up here. Swedish line infantry is should not be underestimated. Let's 
let's get our quick climbing howitzers to focus on the Swedish Dragoons. Then we'll knock out all of these guns. They're special elite 12 pounder Swedish Geschwinde Scott. The Michael Scott artillery. There we go. So even though there's an X that says you can't do this, you can right click and get them both to attack. Okay, let's halt fire. You guys fire it all off, because I don't want you thinking you can get some pot shots up there. make sure we've got our horse ground air guards off of fire at will. That's right you grenadiers, it will not be a happy time for you. Very well, if the general wants to hide then my, royal, my horse ground air guards can go and attack the gunners. My hussars will make short work of these dragoons. You guys are going to avoid the provincial cavalry, which is perfect. The Swedish dragoons are done for, will be done for. Kill the gun teams. Kill the remnants of the Dragoons. You're going to have to kill that Provincial Cavalry unit first. You guys make sure you kill both of their artillery units. You kill the Royal Swedish Dragoons. I'm going to end it because I don't want to wait for the infantry to climb off the walls. Because that usually takes a bit of time. But there we go, that was a nice defence. Let's push back yet another full Swedish army. And now there's two breaches, which is handy for our purposes, because that makes it all the more likely they're going to mass assault the breaches. <laughs> Good God. All these armies, all these units are depleted. What do you hope to achieve? We're not close to breaking. So we are going to fight it, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for another Defense of Yalgava. Cheers everyone.